HubSpot calculated properties lets you calculate the values between associated objects and also lets you build custom equations based on other property types. I'm gonna show you how to use it in today's HubSpot hack. All right guys, before we get started, I should mention that calculated properties are only for people using professional or enterprise hubs. So if you have a professional, at least one professional or enterprise hub, then you're all set to start using calculated properties. First things first, what you're gonna do is log into HubSpot, click the gear icon towards the top right, and on the left-hand side, navigate down to data management and then properties. So there's a lot that we can do with calculated properties. Fair warning, if I showed you everything, we'd be here for a couple hours. So I'm gonna show you some of the basics that I've set up for myself and for some of my clients, and then also dive a little bit into more, some of the custom stuff that you can do as well. So to create a calculated property, once you get to this properties page, click to create a property on the right-hand side. Just pick the group, give it a label, we'll just call this our test property, and click next. And for your field type, you're gonna scroll all the way down to calculations, and then build calculation. So the custom equation builder is where you can do a lot of different really advanced things. You can do different output types, you can do formatted numbers, currencies, percentages, you can insert different functions and properties. I'm gonna show you how to use that a little bit at the end of the video because there's so much you can do. Right now, I'm gonna show you the different pre-built stuff that you can do with calculated properties, like minimum, maximum, counts, sums, averages, and time between. So for most of these here, like the count, for example, this will be counting associated record types. So what I'm gonna demonstrate a little bit on is from a comp like a contact, you wanna know the associated support tickets that they have open, how many there's been, this would be a great example. So I'm gonna pop back and I'm actually gonna show you how that would work. So create property, the object type would be contact, the group will be just contact information, and we'll call this our number of open, number of associated tickets. Our field type will be calculation and build calculation. So instead of a custom equation, we want to do a count. We do want it to be a formatted number and our associated record type is going to be tickets, right? Because we're calculating the number of associated tickets. So you can get more granular with association labels if you want. For this case, I just want to do all association labels. And then you are required to choose a property so basically it's only going to calculate it if this property is known on that ticket. So for this example, we only want to do it if the status is known. So any open closed tickets, doesn't matter what status is in, as long as it's actually in a status, it will calculate that property. And then we can click create and our number of associated tickets property is created. The next one I'm going to demonstrate for you is really useful for, for sales if you want to calculate the average deal size that a specific company has. So if you have a company who's placed a lot of orders with you, you want to calculate all of their average values of their all their different orders, this would be a great use case. So we're going to click to create property. We're going to change the object type to companies. And we'll do company information, give it a name, average deal size, and then click next. Once again, our field type is going to be a calculation and we want to do an average this time. So instead of a formatted number, we want this to be a currency because it's average deal size. The associated record type is gonna be deals and we'll do all association labels again. So the associated record property, we only wanna calculate this if the deal amounts are known. So we'll scroll down to amount. And we do wanna also use the conditions down here because we don't wanna calculate this for deals that are open. We only want to calculate, you know, that our sales team is still working. We only want to calculate this for deals that have been closed one. So we're going to do create condition. We'll say closed one. Scroll down to is closed one equals, type to enter a number, and then just put in the constant one. So this means that if there's a value for closed one equals one, which HubSpot does for you automatically when a deal is closed one, that deal will count towards that company's average deal size. We just click create and then we're all set. So I'm gonna show you some more advanced ones now. If I go into my deal properties and just hop to this page when I get here. You'll see I have a couple pre-built ones here to show you because they are a little bit advanced. Don't worry, you can copy the formulas um, from this video, just pause and then you can replicate them inside of your portal. So I've got two here I'm gonna show you for basic and advanced. We click into basic here, we have a custom equation. 
The number format is going to be currency. And this is using if the deal is closed one, it takes the amount of the deal and then times it by, um, finds 20%. So if your commission values 20% of the deal size, that's what you pay your sales reps, then uh, it'll automatically populate 20%. So you can see, we can test this, say our amount is $100, the deal probability, probability is 100%, meaning it is closed. When I click to test my formula, I get a commission payout of $20. So you could take this formula here, really simple, easy to set up. And you can get more advanced with commission payouts as well. So if I go into my advanced properties, you can see it's still a custom equation. We're still using number format for currency. And I've got a lot of different if statements in here. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you. So we're starting with if the deal probability is one, which is 100%. And then we have different payout amounts to our sales rep based on the size of the deal. So if the amount is over 50,000, then we'll pay 20% to our sales rep. If the amount is over 20,000, but not over 50,000, we'll pay 15% to our sales rep. And anything less than 20,000, we're gonna pay out 10%. So I'll demonstrate this again for you. Say our amount is $100,000 and our deal probability is 100%. We can test it. And our sales rep is getting 20%, $20,000. Our next payout, which would be $25,000, so we'll test the formula here. And then our sales rep is getting 15% at 3,750 bucks. And then our last one for anything under 20 grand, we'll just demonstrate with you know, 10,000, test the formula. Our sales rep is getting 10% for 1,000 bucks. If you need any help setting up calculated properties, don't hesitate to reach out down below in the description. We'll have a link to our page where you can book a meeting with us. And I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe for all the latest and greatest in HubSpot hacks. Happy HubSpotting.